Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Pauline RN. Today we'll be talking about infection control asepsis. This is part two. We will be doing questions and answers taken from RN Inclex examinations. Please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and please share my videos with your classmates. My first question. Which scenario requires proper hand washing? The correct answer, before and after feeding, contact with body fluids, C. diff patients after removing gloves, wash your hands with running water is the correct answer. Before and after a procedure, before and after entering and leaving a patient's rooms, these are scenarios that requires proper hand washing. Next question. When you're ambulating a patient with a Foley catheter, what should you consider? The correct answer, when you're ambulating a patient, keep the Foley catheter. Correct answer, keep the Foley catheter bag below the bladder level. The bag should not be held above the waist. We are preventing backflow of urine into the bladder. The bladder is sterile. And patients, especially the elderly, they are at risk for urinary tract infections. My next question. There is an order from the doctor. Patient is positive for MRSA. Patient should be on isolation. What isolation should be ordered for this patient? What precaution? The correct answer, patients who are diagnosed positive for MRSA should be on contact isolation. M-E-R-S-A stands for methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Patient who are positive for MRSA should be in a private room. Contact isolation, precaution, gloves, gowns, goggles if needed, mask if needed, proper hand washing is needed, and this is the correct answer. What does the word iatrogenic mean? Iatrogenic, I-A-T-R-O-G-E-N-I-C, and the correct answer, an infection that occurs as a result of treatment or diagnostic procedures, illness caused by medical examination or treatment is the correct answer. Next question. During which phase of infection is the person most infectious? The correct answer. The patient is most infectious in the prodromal stage. Which statement about hand washing is correct. The correct answer, hands should be washed before and after 
before applying gloves and after removal of gloves is the correct answer. When observing universal precautions, note that this also applies to what? Correct answer. Universal precautions also applies to cerebrospinal fluids, synovial fluids, pleural fluids, peritoneal fluids, pericardial fluids, amniotic fluids is the correct answer. My next question, when handling sterile objects, the nurse should observe which guideline? The correct answer is consider most solutions sterile for 24 hours after opening. Always date your containers after opening them if you have to use them again. Next question. Inserting Foley catheters, which precaution should be taken for this procedure? The correct answer is surgical asepsis technique. Next question, which laboratory test result indicates pre presence of infection? The correct answer is the presence of pathogens in urine, blood, sputum, or drainage cultures are the correct answers. What are airborne infection? This is the question. Correct answer. Spread of droplet nuclear through coughing, sneezing, talking. Next question. List factors that influences the, subs the susceptibility of a host. The correct answer that influence susceptibility of a host one intact skin and mucous membrane protect the body against microbial invasion two the pH levels of gastric secretions and of and of the genital urinary tract help ward off microbial invasion. Three, the body white blood cells influence resistance to certain pathogen. Four, age, sex, race, hereditary factors influences susceptibility of an oath. Thank you. Please thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel. Please share these videos to your friends. Thanks for listening. And this ends part two of infection, part one, part two, I'm sorry, of infection control sepsis. Thank you.